The top 10 inventions of ancient Greece. Ancient Greece can be credited with many inventions and discoveries, although many of these have been developed and adapted by subsequent generations. The ancient Greeks' breakthrough explorations in the areas of astronomy, geography, architecture and mathematics made them pioneers in the field of science. The Greeks' interest in the scientific specification and engineering implementation of the physical world can be seen as far back as the 6th century BCE. Remarkable leaders like Pythagoras, Aristotle, Tisibius of Alexandria and Archimedes, and their innovative and philosophical ideas have motivated thousands of other intellectuals throughout history. Here is a list of the top 10 inventions of ancient Greece that are still important today. 10. Historiography. Historiography is the study of the methods of historians in developing history as an academic discipline, and by extension is any body of historical work on a particular subject. The earliest chronologies date back to Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt, in the form of chronicles and annals. By contrast, the term, historiography, is taken to refer to written history recorded in a narrative format for the purpose of informing future generations about events. In this limited sense, History begins with the early historiography of classical antiquity in about the 5th century BCE, with Herodotus, the father of history. The Roman statesman Cato the Elder produced the first history in Latin, the Origins, in the 2nd century BCE. His near contemporary Sima Tan and Sima Qian in the Han Empire of China established Chinese historiography with the compiling of the Shi Ji, records of the Grand Historian. During the Middle Ages, Medieval historiography included the works of chronicles in medieval Europe, Islamic histories by Muslim historians, and the Korean and Japanese historical writings based on the existing Chinese model. During the 18th century Age of Enlightenment, historiography in the Western world was shaped and developed by figures such as Voltaire, David Hume, and Edward Gibbon, who among others set the foundations for the modern discipline. Certainly, without Herodotus, you would not be checking out this very list today. 9. Pneumatics. Pneumatics is the field of study and implementation relating to how air pressure powers and moves something. Essentially, pneumatics puts compressed air to practical use by moving applications like the tools and machinery used in the engineering, manufacturing and construction industries. The origins of pneumatics can be traced back to the first century when the ancient Greek hero of Alexandria wrote about his inventions powered by steam or the wind. Tisibius of Alexandria also made use of pneumatics in his work on the earliest piston pump and an air-powered cannon. In combination with his work on the elasticity of air, on pneumatics, earned him the title of father of pneumatics. Unfortunately, none of Tisibius's written work has survived, including his memorabilia, compilation of his research that was cited by Athenius. Tisibius' most commonly known pneumatic invention today is a pipe organ, hydraulis, a predecessor of the modern church organ. 8. Cement. A cement is a binder, a substance used for construction that sets, hardens, and adheres to other materials to bind them together. Chemically speaking, cement is a product that includes lime as the primary binding ingredient. Lime, calcium oxide, was used on Crete and by the ancient Greeks. There is evidence that the Minoans of Crete used crushed pots or sherds as an artificial pozzolan for hydraulic cement. Nobody knows who first discovered that a combination of hydrated non-hydraulic lime and a pozzolan produces a hydraulic mixture, but such concrete was used by the ancient Macedonians, and three centuries later on a large scale by Roman engineers. 7. The Watermill Prior to the age of steam and industrialization, the watermill was one of the primary sources of power in society. This useful invention takes its origins from the earliest known perichoral wheel created way back in the 3rd century BCE in Greece. Scholars postulate that it was most likely invented by the Greek engineer Philo of Byzantium. Previously, the portions of the mechanical treatise on this particular water mill written by Philo himself were regarded to have Arab origination. However, recent research by British historian M.J.T. Lewis has proved that the water mill was an ancient Greek invention. Water mills were a revolutionary invention and have been used all over the world for the purpose of metal shaping, agriculture and, most importantly, milling. Milling alone led to the availability of edible food staples like rice, cereals, pulses, flour, and so on. 
Ever since the invention of the watermill, a number of adaptations have enabled people to use the invention for various purposes. 6. Laboratory Science The earliest systematic laboratory science according to the present evidence is a home laboratory of Pythagoras of Samos, the well-known Greek philosopher and scientist. This laboratory was created when Pythagoras conducted an experiment about tones of sound and vibration of string. It would only be fair to say that, given the evidence, the ancient Greeks made some outstanding contributions in various branches of science including biology and physics. Many ancient Greek intellectuals excelled in mathematics, physics, and astronomy. Aristotle introduced the idea of the Earth as a globe. He also classified animals and is often referred to as the father of zoology. Theophrastus was the first botanist that we know of in written history. The Pythagoreans not only made the earliest advances in philosophy and geometry, but they also proposed a heliocentric hypothesis of the Earth revolving around the Sun and not the other way around as was believed at that time. Archimedes discovered that submerging a solid object in water would displace the same amount of liquid as the object's volume. The Greeks had so much influence in the early concepts of science that most symbols used in physics and mathematic equations are derived from the Greek alphabet. 5. Cartography Cartography is the study and practice of making maps. It has played an important role in travel and navigation since ancient times. Even though the earliest known evidence of cartography points towards ancient Babylon as early as the 9th century BC, the Greeks took what they had at their disposal and brought cartography into a new light. Anaximander was one of the first pioneer cartographers to create a map of the world. Born between 611 and 610 BC, he made important contributions to the science of astronomy and geography. Anaximander is mentioned in Aristotle's work, who categorized him as a pupil of the physical school of thought, propounded by Thales. Anaximander included all inhabited areas of the world in his map. The map appeared in tablet form and featured Ionia in the center. It was bounded on the east by the Caspian Sea and stretched to the Pillars of Hercules in the west. Middle Europe borders the map in the north while Ethiopia and the Nile feature at the southern end. Anaximander made immense contributions in the fields of cartography and geography and his map of the world was indeed a marvelous achievement of that time. 4. Medicine The ancient world did not fare too well when it came to the curing of disease. Back then, diseases were supposed to be the gods' way of punishing humans and all possible remedies were surrounded by superstition. That all changed when Hippocrates of Kos started to collect data and conduct experiments to show that disease was a natural process, that the signs and symptoms of a disease were caused by the natural reactions of the body to the disease process. Born in 460 BC, Hippocrates was an ancient Greek physician of the classical age and was considered one of the most outstanding figures in the history of medicine. He was referred to as the father of Western medicine in recognition of his lasting contributions to the field and was the founder of the Hippocratic School of Medicine. The most famous of his contributions is the Hippocratic Oath, which bears his name. It was this document that first proposed an ethical standard among doctors. It covers many important concepts which are still used today such as doctor-patient confidentiality. 3. Philosophy the Socratic method, a form of cooperative argumentative dialogue between individuals, based on asking and answering questions to stimulate critical thinking and to draw out ideas and underlying presuppositions. It is named after the classical Greek philosopher Socrates and is introduced by him in Plato's Theotetus. Before the age of ancient Greece, the world did not see philosophy as we see it today. It was more shrouded in superstition and magic than it ever would be. For instance, the Egyptians believed that if the Nile rose and flooded, making the soil dark and fertile, their pharaoh had commanded it. But the Greeks approached philosophy from a different direction. They developed philosophy as a way of understanding the world around them, without resorting to religion, myth, or magic. In fact the early Greek philosophers were also scientists who observed and studied the known world, the earth, seas, mountains, solar system, planetary motion, and astral phenomena. Their philosophy, based on reasoning and observation of the known world, played a pivotal role in